partner to be here. You're going to fight with him, and as he comes, as he moves this way, you're going to engage. All right? And then the secret to this move is you've got to somehow use kind of like an Oguruma throw, where you're hitting him with your this part. All right? And he's going to fall over. So in other words, as he tries to sneak out, he's tripping over like a pole or something. Okay? So that's what we want to do. So we're going to have a partner here. He's going to try to avoid getting back of the mat. So he's going to come through. Okay, and I want you guys to kind of cut the angles a little bit to your partner so that it makes his life easy. Okay, as he comes through, he's going to cut across like this, take a big step, and put his leg through. All right. Okay, so we're here. So this is an MMA fight. We have an underhook, and we're here. And I'm kneeing him. Pop, pop. As he comes through, I step through too. Okay, so one more time, he steps through, I step through. Now from here, I'm going to put my legs here, and I'm going to start launching that way. So one more time, he wants to get out. This is a cage, because I'm beating him up. Pop, pop, and he comes through, and I come through. So one more time, here. Now, I was a little bit off balance, because my head was behind my shoulder. Try to keep your head in your shoulder, try to have a quick launch. From here, I can launch him this way, but we have to imagine the wall behind us. So we're going to push our way against the wall, and from there, we're going to throw. So go ahead, go through. Like that, okay? Well, the secret is to try, you have to time your movement with his movement and catch up with him and throw. All right, so we're going to flip that first. And then eventually our goal is, it happens, we, uh, this is fighting the cage. And there happens to be a wall or a cage behind us. So we're going to use that cage to help us launch us. Because we're right against the cage, we're beating him up, and then if he cuts through, we're cutting through. Okay, let's give that a try, guys. Okay, how do you guys want to grip? If this is MMA, prefer, I like to grip an uh, underhook. Maybe probably because I'm shorter. So a lot of times I might be ball position for underhook. You might be taller, so you'll be ball position, maybe overhook. Alright. Um, I'm going to do underhook, I'm going to hide my head. And the secret is, we're here, we're pushing him, and as he moves, we move, and then we come right through. Alright. Now, sometimes if you go too far ahead, it ends up almost like a uchimata, but your leg's not between his legs. Okay, so the uchimata in this case does not really work. So we're here, as we move, the secret is trying to get this bump. So this angle here, we want to get, see this right here. Okay, because if it's here, we lost this ability and we lost using the wall. Okay, and number two, we want to create a physical force between the wall and here. So as we launch, we're pulling it. Boom, saw that? Okay. As he sneaks through, then you have to wait for the sneak through, then use it. Okay, look at my head. My head's not on this side, my head's on this side. So he feels like he can sneak out. As he sneaks out, I take a step, and then I stick my foot. See that? So with you, you look at somebody here. See how, you see the difference? With me, I'm a little bit farther back, so when I stick it out, I look at my feet a little bit farther extended. Okay, so I'm here, I'm feeling him up, so I do want to escape, and that's what I do with you. And now I push. You got it? You got it. Oh, so with this is like as opposed to giving creating a space for him to fall through. The push is moving your leg completely out of the way from the fall. Yes. Okay, so good question. So one more time. We're here and it's like all fight. You can see, see how it's coming out? And eventually I just put my foot here. Boom! And then I just kind of push. Right? So in other words, we're pushing. It's the same throw as this. A lot of uh, high school wrestling teach this throw right here. The only difference is instead of pushing off the wall and the floor now, you're pushing up here. And then as you get better, you learn to launch. Right? But that's like down the road. So why Muhammad came up with this was because a lot of times the guy would eventually turn out. So now we're beating him up. And then we can either keep him here, or if we know that he turns out, our next option is to catch up with him and turn. Let's give that a try.